Hi, I want to discuss the merits or not of AIS antennas being mounted high up. A large commercial ship with an antenna 150 feet up has a range to horizon of 14 and a half nautical miles. A yacht with a 40 foot mast has a range to horizon of seven and a half miles. Add the two together and you get a ship to yacht theoretical range of 22 miles. Now let's take a breather and think some common sense thoughts. Why do you need to see AIS targets over 20 miles away? They're highly likely to change course or speed anyway, as are you, before you get close. So why bother with them? Moving on, let's consider the yacht's AIS antenna on a broomstick or something a bit smarter attached to the push bit at 15 feet above sea level. At this height, the range to horizon is more like 4.6 miles. If you can only get the antenna 12 foot above sea level from your cockpit, you lose another half a mile. In the worst case scenario, two small boats with antennas only 12 foot above the sea, you get a range of 8.2 miles from boat to boat. I'm pretty happy with that, as my main concern is small boats within two miles and ships within four miles. Here I know some folk will want to argue that height is everything, but I disagree. A dedicated AIS antenna tuned to the AIS end of the marine VHF band is around 10% more efficient. That extra clarity is worth something. This is why, in my opinion, it's best to have a voice antenna centered on 156 megahertz and an AIS antenna centered on 162 megahertz, well separated from the voice antenna. If you have a catch, lucky you, you can put one antenna on each mast. But if you've only got one mast, I'd go for separate antennas with the VHF at the masthead and the AIS on a pole on the push pit, rather than the splitter sharing the masthead antenna. A splitter is just one more thing to go wrong. And with a separate antenna, you have a backup for your main radio if the masthead antenna fails. As ever, it's your choice, but in my view, masthead antennas for AIS see far further than they need to, and having a separate dedicated antenna is the sensible option. If you're interested in the maths, I'll show the calculations for range at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Like and follow for more.